Sometimes you want to give up when it's hard, when it's hard, and you don't have the answer. When does it end? When do we rest? Lord, you promise to be there. Are you there? Happy Sabbath, happy day. So before we start, I would like to pray. Let's pray. Our kind and loving master, we come before you this moment. I pray that you be with me as I deliver a sermon. May the, may the words that come out of my mouth be yours and may your children learn something from it. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So. Today's sermon is titled Home at Last. We can start by going to the book of Isaiah chapter 25 verse 9. And it says, And it shall be say, and it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. So we have waited for God, and we are still waiting for him. And he has promised that he will come back for us one day. But before he comes, there are certain things, certain events must, must occur. Persecution, killing, times of trouble. And currently, we are seeing floods all over parts of, in all parts of the, of the world. People are dying and people are troubled, very much troubled. And in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 2 and 3, it says, in my, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and I prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may, may be also. So God has gone to heaven to prepare a place for us, a great city, the new Jerusalem. And, he has, and before he left the disciples, he promised that he would come back to take us to be with him in heaven. Revelation chapter 22, verse 7. Just a minute. Revelation chapter 22, verse 7, and it says, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings 
of the prophecy of this book. So Christ will come quickly to take us home. He will not come slowly like a bride walking down the aisle majestically. He will come quickly. And the speed that he will come with is very, is compared to the speed of light, is just a dot. He will come quickly. And in Psalms chapter 50, verse 3, it says, Our God shall come and shall not be silent. Our fire shall devour before him, and it shall be temp temptuous round about him. So Christ will not come silently. He will come loudly and quickly. When, and when he comes, the unrighteous shall be troubled. They will, they will try to run away and hide from God because they know they have sinned. And they will shatter their teeth until they are no more. And in Psalms chapter 9, so we find that before you go to heaven, Jesus, before you go to heaven, we must be righteous and repent our sins. And the devil will, of course, come to tempt us. And the, the, the devil already before tempted Jesus while he was in the wilderness. And when he was tempting Jesus, he quoted the book of Psalms, chapter 90, verse 11 and 12. And it says, For he shall give angels charge over thee, to keep thee all, in all thy ways. They, they shall bear thee up in their hands, and lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. So when the devil was tempting Jesus, he took Jesus to the top of a building and told him to throw himself down. But Jesus did not fall into the temptations of the devil. Instead, he defended himself by saying it is written. Likewise, when the devil tempts us, we should learn to defend ourselves with the word of God. And nothing is impossible. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This means that we can overcome the temptations of the devil, become righteous, and see the coming kingdom. And when Jesus comes to take us, we, we shall stay with him in heaven a millennium. And we shall call that great place home. Surely, home at last. As I finish, Romans chapter 15, verse 13, it says, May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope the power of, by the power of the Holy Spirit. So, God has sent the Holy Spirit to fill us with hope that one day we will see the coming kingdom of God. And I would like to pray as we finish. Let's pray. Dear God, come before you this moment. Thank you for giving us your word. We pray that we, we practicalize it in our daily lives and that we shall, we shall see the coming kingdom by the grace for this is our prayer in Jesus name amen my jesus i love thee i know thou art mine for thee i love for his
Jesus.